Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Charleses. We've got an excellent recipe for you today, chocolate drizzled brie bites. ingredients simple and delicious whoever you're making this for will love you trust me but first as always let's wash our hands I did you the the courtesy of kind of speeding through this I know everyone knows how to wash their hands but let's keep it clean in the kitchen and then the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna set that oven to 375 so let's just preheat that before we start Perfect. Okay, now you're gonna need your puff pastry. We're gonna put a little bit of flour down on the, the cutting board, just so it doesn't stick. We'll unwrap this puff pastry. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure out. I'm not too much of a a fan of eyeballing this. Um, so we need at least 24 pieces um, to go into our pan. So I'm just gonna roughly measure before um, I slice this up. And if you've got any other um, tips on, on how to get these pieces out evenly, put it in the, the chat, I'd love to Check them out. Okay, I'm using my pizza cutter. It makes it easy and quick. We'll fly through this. Uh-oh, I'm in some trouble. Ah, we fixed it. All right, and we're going across, and we're done. That wasn't so bad. Okay, next, we're going to butter our um, tin. And I just used a spray here. Make it quick and easy. We're gonna go over to our puff pastry pieces and we're gonna just put them in each. And you just gotta make sure that as much as you can, they go all the way around. Of course, since it's square, it's not gonna fit that um, spot completely, but we wanna make sure we get as much as we can, because we're gonna stuff them soon. So do your best, and I'm sure yours will turn out beautiful. All right, all right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. We're done, almost done here. Three left. And after this, we're gonna get our cheese ready. And you can feel free to cut your cheese ahead of time. Um, but it doesn't take too long anyway. One more. There we go. All right. Have a look and see how I did. Mm, not too bad, not too bad. Let's get our brie. Can you believe it? I haven't tried brie before, um, but I was delightfully surprised. It's delicious. Um, and this coating on the brie, it's edible. So um, you don't have to cut it off. You can just slice it up with the, the casing and we will pop them right into our puff pastries. Now, how, how many of you cheese fans um, have had brie before? Put in the comments if you enjoy yourself some brie. 
All right, let's stuff our puff pastry. One for each spot. And I'm gonna discover later on that um, I'm not the best cheese slicer. So some of these spots uh, had slices that were pretty small. So I just doubled up on some of them, um, if you're wondering what I'm doing later on. But um, for now, they look pretty good. I went on to the walnuts and I'm just topping each, each portion with some walnuts there. Oh, extra cheese. You can't get enough cheese in there. All right, some more walnuts. And I'm sure this recipe can go with um, a pecan or another um, soft nut. Uh, so if you're not a walnut fan, feel free to experiment and try um, a different nut to, to go to your preference. Almost done here. We are flying by. Oop, I didn't want to waste any, any cheese, so I added some extra one to that, to that portion. <laughs> almost, almost. One more. And my favorite part is coming, the honey. So let's drizzle some honey on top of these pastries. And you can put as little or as, as much as you want. Just keep in mind that uh, the honey, sometimes it kind of sticks to the sides after you're done cooking, and that can contribute to um, it sticking in the pan. So don't be too generous with the honey. You can always, always drizzle some more honey after they come out of the oven. All right, they're looking good. Oh yes. And I used um, raw organic honey, but you can use any honey that you have on hand. Don't feel like you have to use exactly what I'm using. All right, almost done. I had to bring in the other arm. I was, my arm strength was waning there. All right, zoom into that so you can check that out. Let's pop these in the oven. Now we're gonna put these, uh, remember at 375 for about 15 minutes. Um, and that's all, about all that it should take. It's really quick. Okay, let's check them out. Oh, delicious. If you can hear the sizzle on this when it, when it came out. Absolutely mouthwatering. Now another tip for these, um, since the honey is very sticky, um, if you let it cool down too um, long, it's going to stick to the pan. So if you can handle it, um, pop them out as soon um, as possible. And here is the plating. I did this first one without the um, chocolate drizzle, just plain if you're not a chocolate fan. But then I added the chocolate drizzle. And let me tell you, that is a superstar of this dish um, with some strawberries, um, Whoever you love or even whoever you like is going to thank you um, when you make this. They're going to think you took all day in the kitchen and it was only 25 minutes. 25 minutes, guys. Oh, look at that. Delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and I hope to see you next week. Bye.